Are you going to become wealthy trading time for money? Now sure, some people have become wealthy, but it's hard because there's no leverage in them. There's only so many hours in a day. So the first thing that usually happens, the next level from an employee, we get into self-employed or a salesperson, someone who works on pure commission, okay? Basically, this person now has a lot more potential upside. Okay, now I first started transitioning from an employee into someone who worked on sales commissions or was more self-employed. The first time I did this was in 2000 and, when was this, about, about 2008, okay, late 2008. I had done some things before where little business ventures, but I, I became really obsessed with this idea of creating financial freedom. And I realized that up until that point, largely I'd been making my money by trading time for money. And a really good mentor of mine told me that, look, if you want to become wealthy, learn to sell. Okay, learn to sell. And I thought, okay, I need to learn to sell. So you know what I did? I went and got a job working as a uh, telemarketer. I was one of those annoying people who call you and try and sell you something on the phone. And what we were doing is we were calling back disgruntled customers of this phone company and we were trying to get them to come back. So <laughs> those first few days were pretty rough. Uh, I was getting sworn at, I was getting hung up on just constantly, right? And I learned to take that, that person who was probably not too happy with the company and be able to um, calm them down a little bit and influence them and answer their questions and have that result in a sale. And when I first started at it, I was pretty terrible at it. My first couple of weeks, I didn't make that much money. But after a while, after my first month, I was in the top 15% in the country for that particular company. Um, I'd only been at it for about three weeks, but I became obsessed with it. Like when I was driving back after being at the office, I was practicing in my car. I was saying out loud what I would say. I was practicing my scripts. I was anticipating uh, what question might they ask me and how would I best answer that. And I was learning everything I could about sales. Okay, so this is where I first got an education in how to sell. And you know what guys, I think I learned, I got more value out of doing that than four years at university doing finance and accounting. Okay, learning to sell is far more important. If you wanna become wealthy, you've gotta learn how to sell. Okay, so I did that for about three months and towards the end of the three months, I was making good money. I mean, for me back then, I was making $300, sometimes even $400 a day. And this seemed like really good money. But then I read something, again, studying Robert Kiyosaki, he said, don't get addicted to um, making money in one way. Most people get addicted. And what that means is, someone who, who grows up learning that you should trade time for money as an employee, they become addicted to that method of making money. If I wanna make more money, I have to go and trade time for money. And by the time they reach the, the mid years of their life, that's all they've ever known. If you want to make money, you've got to go and trade away your life. You've got to trade your time to make money. They become addicted to that source of income. And I realized this is not scalable. This will not get me to where I want to, where I want to go. Next day, I go into that office and I quit. Okay, I quit the job. Even though I was making more money than I'd ever made before, I quit because I thought, this is not going to get me to where I want to go financially in life. Now, I need to start a business.